Hello guys, welcome back to my next video tutorial of the loopback API that uh, I am going to explain now. In my previous tutorial of the loopback, I have shown you the installation of the loopback and creating your first application of the loopback uh, framework, which is the one of the Node.js API framework. So I have just give you the demonstration about the several things about the loopback and show you that how you can install the loopback in your local system and how you can create the new application in your uh, system in your own system so last we have created the look back uh, demo one and that is what uh, we have this folder over here so uh, the look back is uh, the demo one is over here so this is what the look back uh, demo one and uh, which i have already uh, open here in the visual studio code so if you have installed the visual studio code then it will be very easy to move through the different files for this uh, uh, demo application so and you can also have the terminal over here you can also have your own terminal through this uh, to this uh, location that is over here so let's start this application by using the node dot that's what i have already demonstrated at the last so now if you click on this particular link then it will give you the location of uh, this loopback demo one api in which the user is already defaultly created that is what the user is there and you will have the different number of apis available to you so that's what we have seen uh, in my last video tutorial and uh, now we will stop back over here so uh, in this video tutorial i will give you a demonstration about the uh, data models and the data relations that how you can create the loopback data model and uh, how you can create the relationship between those data uh, data models so you can easily create the uh, apis for your demo application and also that uh, i am going to create uh, these uh, data models in my mongodb data base so if you want to know about the mongodb then you can check out one of my other video tutorials uh, the link for that video is uh, in the description of this video so you can easily go through that and you can easily have idea about the mongodb database so before going before we start this particular uh, before we start this uh, let's uh, let me start uh, uh, let me start the mongodb so i will start the mongod that is what the server uh, and then we have to give the db path the location of uh, that location of that mongodb database that is what my mongod db path uh, dash dash db path which is the location of my mongodb data base in which i am already storing all of my mongodb data tables or you can say the collections so here now the mongodb server is running and you can see here the waiting for the connection for the port 270 is there so this is what the mongodb server is running in the one of the power cell now here we have our application already there one of the uh, model is one of the model is there which is the uh, user model and for this particular uh, demonstration i will show you that uh, this we will create the one class data model which has the property equals to non number which is the string we will create the student which has the two property role number and name and there's a subject which has the two property code and title then we will go through the different relationship so before creating the models we have to attach this mongod where we have to attach a one data source to our application so for that we have to execute this particular command that is what the lb data source and when you execute this particular command then it will ask you several things so wait for till this uh, okay so wait till this will give you uh, the connection steps okay so first of all it will ask you for the data source name so let me give the data source name equals to mongo lb loopback demo1 that is what my data source name uh, it will ask you where you want to create this data source so in memory db that is what uh, also there 
in memory key value connector but here we are going to use the mongo db connection so i will use the mongo db that is what also supported by the strong loop and it has also supported the mysql postgres sql oracle or microsoft sql uh, different type of uh, database are there so you can select from them but here we will select the mongo db for now so it will ask you for the connect and, uh, connection string url to override the other settings but we will just click uh, the enter so it will ask you for the host so uh, mongod server is running on the local host so we will give the name as the local host it will ask you for the pod so defaultly the mongod server is running on the 27017 server so you can have that particular pod information leave the user and the password and the database will be there so again you can have the name mongo lb demo one that is what your database so that data source name is that mongo lb demo one and again the database is there mongo lb demo one install the loopback connector it will ask you for that you have to defaultly uh, give the yes for that so it will install the loopback connector for your application so it will easily uh, have the connection between the mongodb and the loopback so it will install the one of the connector that will uh, perform the several functions from your application through the uh, that database so now that uh, data source is there so you can also check uh, that how these things uh, uh, if any database is created or any any other collection is there or not so for that we will take the one uh, new terminal in which we will going to connect to our mongo server and here we will see that uh, we will see the different uh, databases if it is there or not so as you can see here the mongo lb demo one is not here so we will go back to our power cell and just because we have already created the data source we does not have created any data model inside our data source so that's why it is not giving you these values now as you can see here in the server in the data source.json one entry will be there that is what the mongo lb demo one that is what our data source name host is the local host port and the several information about the data source that we have just configured for our application so that's what how you can create the data source for your loopback application now second step that we have to create the models for our data source so here are the different models name of the model are there class student and subject and these are all the different properties uh, for which we will give the string as a particular uh, type of the parameter so let's create that uh, data models so for that for creating a model you have to use the command lb model is there so by using this particular command uh, it will try to create the data model for your application so first of all it will ask the model learn so name it as the class you have to create this model name into the mongo lb demo one data source so select that one it will be the persisted model so select that one expose the class via the rest api yes obviously we have to expose this via that custom plural form no common model or the server only we will use the common also uh, the property name it will ask you for the properties of the class model so as you can see here we have the one property number is set so we will select the number as a property the type of that property will be the string it is required yes default value we will leave it blank and it will ask you again for the second property but as of now we does not have any second property so we will leave it blank and just hit the enter so it will come out of that particular model so as you can see here we have created a one model with the several properties uh, that as you can see over here and uh, if you go through this uh, this folder is created which is the common inside that the models will be there and inside that class.js and class.json will be there so as you can see the class.json file which contains the several information about the model that we have just created so name class base is a persistent model id injection it is true 
validate upset it is two properties that is what the different parameters so number is the one parameter which has the type equals to string and the requirement of this parameter is true we does not have any validations or we does not have any relations or we does not have any access controls for this particular model so similarly we have to create the two different models and that is what uh, two models are there student and subject so let's quickly go through that So now you can see here inside our common folder we have the different models here the one of the one is the class that we have already seen the second one is the student.json so student which has the properties roll number and name which is the one kind of a model and subject will be there which is also the one kind of a model which has the two properties code and the title now from here we have created the models that does not have any relation between them so now if you execute this node dot node space dot so it will have our application running on this particular location so when you start this api then as you can see here instead of having only the user we also have the models uh, we also have the api for our uh, three recently created models that is for the class student and subject now if you click on the class so you will have the list bunch of the different apis already created for you so we will try to get the different uh, uh, classes that has been already created if you perform the get on that then you can see the response body has nothing but the response code is 200 that is what the ok code because we does not have any class here we will try to post the new classes inside that so we will use these things so click on the post of the classes here you can insert you can select this one so that will give you the data over here the number will be equal to one because of we have selected the string for that it will be in the double quotes and the parameter content type is the application just up and try it out so here it will execute this particular thing and it will give you the requested url that is what the local host 3000 api classes so the response body is this one which has created the one uh, class number one and the ID which is over here. So this ID has been created defaultly by the MongoDB and that is what it is over here. So now uh, let me switch to the Mongo here and now again execute this particular command. So as you can see here in our previous execution of the so databases in this list there is no entry about the mongo lb demo one but recently after creating one of the classes you can see here the mongo lb demo one is over here so if we can use that database now as you can see here we have switched to that database and if you click on uh, if you continue uh, if you execute this command so the collection so it will give you that class is the one collection which has one of the entry so we will see db.class.file.pt so as you can see here one entry is there one document entry is there in the class collection which has the id equals to this one which is same id as of this one and which has the number equals to one so again let's try to execute uh, try to enter the another class let's see the second class is there we will try it out so number two is enter and we will see here in the mongodb yes we have the two class entries that is what the number one and number two this is what the mongodb client interface and which is connected to this mongodb server and which is running through this particular lookback api now if you want to see here that whether your class entries are there or not so you can use the get uh, click on the gate of the classes and just try it out so now instead of having the null values or the empty 
response pod if you have the two body that is what the number one and number two classes are there so this is how you can create the uh, different data models in the loopback uh, application so this is how you can have the different data models uh, same as kind of your data tables of the database you can create the data models in your application and you can expose those all the data models in your uh, through your api so this is what it uh, creating the different data models and as you can see here only the class student and subjects are exposed over here where you can also access the class uh, directly through that uh, list you can also access the class through their id you can also access uh, you can perform the different uh, classes from the different purposes but uh, no other model data model is related to this particular class so this is what uh, we have created till now we have attached a one data source to this uh, loopback application that is what the mongodb database and we have created the different models that is by using the lp model in our applications now third step that is what the model relations are there uh, in, by which i will talk in my next video tutorial that is what about the loopback uh, data model relationship because it is a good concept that how you can create the uh, relationship it will be very easy for you to understand and it, is, and it is depend on these all the statements so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel and please share our video tutorials to the others so let other people can also learn about how you can expose your uh, application api by using the loopback for use of your any application either it is web or either it is the mobile so once again thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel thank you very much